Hey guys, um, I kind of wanted to make a interesting video. Um, it's not even about my team or anything or any other, like it's it, it's not even about any teams I support. Uh, it's about Liverpool and what's going on with them because they are on a pretty pretty bad trajectory compared to where they should be and where they have been. Um, they're definitely on the decline, and it's definitely not looking good for them. For the sake of the league also, in a sense, because this is one of the most dominant Liverpool teams' sides that we've seen in quite a long time, and they're not performing in the standards that they tend to perform or they've been performing in the last few seasons. And so it's just confusing on what's kind of going on, what's going wrong. Keep in mind, they're only in sixth position. Uh, we're just about to hit, I believe, the halfway point. We're like a little weeks off from the halfway point. Um, of the season, but right now they're not looking like they'll even hit top four. Now there's a lot of pundits and a lot of people that think they'll hit top four. They're just gonna have to ride this off, wait till they get Luis Diaz and Jota and and their forwards back. A matter of fact is, right now there's a lot of teams building momentum. Look at teams like Arsenal, United, uh, you know Spurs lost, but you know Newcastle. It's you know it's scary, right? Uh, as a as a Liverpool supporter to kind of see these teams excelling and you're kind of just like stagnant you keep on losing the same oppositions oppositions that you should be at least getting three points you know you get a point you get no points you lose i mean brentford did win against united earlier in the season but if you're a liverpool side and you know what type of side you are in the sense of you're resilient you've been dominating teams for the last few seasons beating top six i mean you beat you you beat man city literally two months ago prior to the world cup so why why can't you beat brentford away and that's a big problem right because here's the main issue so the club's about to be sold they're planning on selling the club the fenway group because clearly they're not in it for the long run you know they're they know they're gonna have to spend a lot more money because they're seeing it right now with the results are going and the fact that they just lost the last champions league as well they're kind of seeing a trajectory where they're not willing to invest that much money in, and they're allowing anyone to join to kind of help and support, right? But if you want to sign these big ballers, you need Champions League football. You need it. You know, there, there's no one that wants to play in Europa League, Conference League, or even no European competition. If you're a player, especially a young player that wants that experience, that wants to be involved in the club and involved in the biggest competition with the biggest teams... You want Champions League football. And so, for instance, like Jude Bellingham, right? Linked with Liverpool, Madrid, Chelsea, City, a multitude of clubs, right? If you're Jude Bellingham, right, are you going to go to Liverpool if Liverpool just have Europa League? No, you won't. Because right now, Liverpool Football Club is in a state where des they're desperate for anybody. Forget about Jude. For anybody. Because they're clearly lacking something, right? Um, Salah is nowhere near since his contract extension. Not even like close. He's not. He's not even. I don't think he's even close to the Golden Boot. Uh, let, let alone, you know, him being to the status of where he was a few seasons ago. Even last season, I mean, he was a Golden Boot winner. You know, he has seven goals and four assists in 17 prem matches. Not bad, right? But for the standards that Salah is normally in, he's your main forward. And if your main forward's not scoring, then you'd assume the other forwards are scoring? No. Because Darwin Nunez is shite. He's not he's not good. Like, I mean, look, that's a bit of a stretch, right? But I think Darwin Nunez is really struggling to capture that form, that Premier League form that strikers need to have. They need to be confident. They need to be... They need to have some sort of momentum going. I feel like a lot of these Prem strikers, when they're doing well in the season, they're built by momentum. I mean, if you look at Salah's 30, a 32 goal season, he was clicking every week, unstoppable, no matter the opponent, because he had the momentum, the Liverpool momentum, the like every they were building the momentum to the point where Salah was just unstoppable. You couldn't stop him at all. And I feel like a lot of these forwards in the Prem they build off of that. But if you look at Darwin. He really has nothing to build off of because he has to start somewhere. But if you're looking at all of these opportunities that he's missing, these chances that he's missing, that he should be finishing, that any striker could be finishing, why is he not doing that? You know, 
he's a hundred million. They paid a lot for him. He's young. They got him on a long term deal, sure. But considering that Liverpool is so desperate to have a goal scorer that's consistent, that's gonna be scoring at every competition, because they're still in every competition, right? Except for the EFL Cup, I should say. But they're still in the Champions League. I think they're in the FA Cup still. They're still in the Prem. You know, they still gotta get the top four if they really want to sign these players. You need a goal scorer. You need someone to bag those goals in. And there's no one that's finishing that. Uh, and the fact that they let Mane go over the summer, I know Mane was a big reason why, you know, he left. Like, it was his own personal reason, right? He wanted to leave, get a new challenge. And, you know, he wanted to kind of go to a big, bigger club at the moment. You know, I think Bayern, considering they had just won a Champions League two seasons ago, you know, and they have a lot of great, promising players. He kind of liked that fit a little more. and Maybe he wanted to move on. Right and and Liverpool is still kind of, you know, it, it still seems like they're trying to find their identity. You know, they don't know what to kind of do because this clock ball is not working super well anymore. Clearly, as we could see from the results, you could kind of blame the players, but it's the same players they've had the last three, four seasons. When you look at the last few seasons, right? The team hasn't really changed that much. I mean, if anything, they've kind of brought more talent into the club, and so. If anything, this is maybe more like a play styling issue or just players kind of being fatigued. Uh, that's been a big criticism, right? Because this clock ball is very heavy on counterattacks, moving forward, pressing forward. And considering that, you know, you're in a league that plays four competitions if you're in Europe also, right? It's, it's not healthy on the players, especially since you don't have any good backups on the bench that you're willing to use in rotations. And the fact that most of your players are injured... It's not very good on the players. And so I think Klopp right now is kind of struggling to find out what he really needs to do with this team. Because there's not enough talent on the bench where he's able to kind of produce the same Klopp football that he was doing back in 2018, 19, 20. And, but at the same time, you know, they don't have enough money to buy a bunch of players clearly because the club is going for sale also. So he doesn't know what to do, right, um, I feel like. And he's kind of lost. He's trying to find a new playing style to adapt. Uh, because we're not seeing that same counterattack in football as we normally would see. Um, that little high-pressing football, the you know the Anfield nights where you see the, the crowd going crazy and the momentum building up on it. You don't really see that anymore. You see them struggling against Crystal Palace at home and Brentford away. So, um, you know, well, right now I feel like more importantly, you got to really, you got you to gotta go through this moment right now. Because you're still waiting for Luis Diaz to come back, who, which I'm pretty sure there's like a few more months. He's not set yet. You need to wait for Jota to come back. And I think you got to, I don't know what's on with Firmino, but you got to play Firmino. Because he was actually backing some goals in the beginning of the season. And if no one else is doing that in this club, freaking Oxley chamberlain scored the only goal for Liverpool today. No Salah, no Darwin, no nothing. No, no forward score today. So you kind of got to look at your options on the bench. Maybe start Fabio Carvalho. Maybe... Start Firmino, you know, switch up the formation, something, you know, find something. Because right now, you can't be dropping critical points, especially when you're desperate for that top four. Because the minute you don't get that top four, you're going to lose half of your transfer targets. Because they're not going to be wanting to go to a club that doesn't play European football. It's that simple.